Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul Flayhan here with Paul's iOS device taking a look at an upcoming jailbreak application that you can get in Cydia. This, was, this one is a version 1, beta 1, and you've got the CarPlay interface here. And this is a designated application. This is not pulling anything out of uh, deep in iOS. This is a fully, from the ground up, built uh, to look like CarPlay. And for $3, uh, for one license, you'll have to purchase uh, a license per device. So, see, I've got a, an iPad here and an iPhone 6 Plus. So I will need to, I will need to get a license for each, each individual device. But mostly, uh, you will only really use one device for, uh, for this. I would recommend using the iPad. But let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. You are presented with the phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, and settings. And here in the uh, left gutter here, you've got uh, options to uh, show your weather, you can show your battery percentage, or even uh, your miles an hour. If you're driving, you have the option to show your uh, miles an hour. You also get the time, you get your cell signal, and also a home button. So here, let's go ahead and hop into the phone. And you're presented with your favorites. And you've got calls, contacts, you get a keyboard as well. And you got voicemail. And currently, uh, with my setup here, when I tap on voicemail, the app crashes. But then again, this is a beta one. Uh, keep that in mind. But you can go ahead and type and call a number and it will jump to the phone interface as you can see here but whenever you hit cancel or end the call it jumps right back to the application which is very nice it doesn't kick you out of the application at all so if you want to leave an application you just hit the home button in the lower left hand corner now we can go to the music and it takes you straight to your playlists you've got your artists songs albums and more which includes your genres and compilations. And in the upper right hand corner you can see now playing. I, I wish this uh, had iTunes radio integrated but uh, currently uh, version 1 does not. Uh, this developer is great at uh, responding to people's questions and tweets and uh, I'm sure if you ask him to uh, integrate iTunes radio I'm sure he can. Next let's hop into maps. Now maps is, in my opinion, the most important thing here because uh, in CarPlay, it'd be nice uh, to, to view your entire map uh, on your dashboard on this large screen without having uh, to uh, peck away at, at destinations. Uh, so here in the upper right hand corner, you can pick destinations, you can search for destinations, and once you search for a destination, it will save it in your destinations here, and you can quickly access them uh, later on. So here I'm just going to go ahead and select the current one that I've got here. And uh, Siri will, uh, will talk to you. And here in this little box you can see uh, the estimated time, how long it will take, and your current miles. So I, I really enjoy the Maps application. Next we can hop into Messages and again you're presented with your latest messages and when you want to access Siri you just tap Siri in the upper left hand corner and it'll just bring up the Siri interface. To get out of Siri, just hit the home button. Next, to go to Now Playing. Now Playing uh, will obviously just show you what current song is playing at that time. So there's really not much to this. You get your basic music controls, your back, pause, and forward buttons, uh, as well as a, a scrubber here. So let's go ahead and head back to the home button. 
And now let's head back to uh, settings here. And here in settings, uh, you can enable the weather. And you can also uh, display your current speed in miles an hour or kilometers per hour. You also get battery percentage. You can have it all on always or as soon as your battery reaches uh, goes below 20 percent which is a great feature because uh, if you're going to have this uh, mounted on your car you're most likely going to be uh, draining some battery so it's always good to, to be able to keep an eye on your battery since this application hides your status bar as you can see here now we have automatic locking uh, your device will lock itself uh, when it is dis disconnected from the charger. You can en enable that. You've got your right driver mode. So your, your little uh, gutter here switches, switches sides. Uh, automatic update. Automatically open Cydia to get the latest update available. And also you can change the icon size from 100%, 75 and 50%. So let's demonstrate 75. And let's go ahead and go to 50. Uh, I recommend keeping it at 100. Uh, with CarPlay, it's nice to have large touch targets since you want to be as safe as possible on the road. Next, let's hop into the license. You can buy one license for $3 or buy five licenses for $12. So you basically get five licenses for the price of four. Um, again, you're going to need, as you can see here, to activate your version. You're going to have to activate one license per device. And then you got the about. This is CarPlay version one. You can pay via PayPal. And you can contact the developer via Twitter and email. So. This is what CarPlay looks like on the iPhone 6 Plus. Let's take a look at quickly what it looks like on the iPad Air 2. Hop into CarPlay. And as you can see here, it's a much larger interface. Uh, if you can, I recommend using the iPad. It's, uh, it's got much larger touch targets. And um, that's really mainly uh, what I recommend it for is larger touch targets. So. That is version 1, that is a beta version of version 1 of CarPlay iOS and it will be available in Cydia soon and if you want, if you have any questions please contact the developer uh, via Twitter um, and also uh, via email. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if so hit that like button down below, uh, show the developer some love and uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate your support, God bless.